This video has been recorded on the very border of the Chernobyl exclusion zone in the night of 26th of April 2023, meaning that when it will be published, the city of Pripyat, the satellite city of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, will be empty already for 37 years and 7 hours. Today we painfully recall the events that happened 37 years ago, and we understand that Perhaps still we don't have answers to all our questions about the origins of that disaster. We always say that this tragedy changed the course of human history and opened a new post-Chernobyl era. And we always remember that when everything happened, the source of the tragedy, a huge Soviet machine, as much as it could, concealed the consequences. Several days passed after the explosion, News programs shamelessly lied to millions of the residents of the Soviet Union that there were no massive destruction and no thousands of deaths. And well, at that moment, the last statement was really true, because the dead began to appear only in a few weeks. At first, there were firefighters and workers of the power plant who were heavily affected by radiation, then liquidators and ordinary residents of Pripyat and of surrounding settlements. Finally, those who simply didn't have enough luck and received too large dose of radiation due to living in contaminated areas without timely evacuation. For many years in a row, we have been holding a memorial event on the anniversary night of the Chernobyl disaster, and every year the 26th of April takes on the new meanings. What originally started as a candle lighting ceremony to mark the number of years that have passed has grown into a powerful symbolic and somewhat artistic act. In the pre-war times, we used it together in the night time in Pripyat, together with its former residents, often hundreds of guests. We waited for 1 hour and 23 minutes, the documented moment of the explosion, and then lit our memorial fire. But for a second year in a row, everything looks different. The realities of wartime brought us here, to the Chernobyl exclusion zone border. From here, it's around 25 kilometers to Chernobyl Unit 4 and just around 300 meters to the barbed wire fence of the zone. Last year, we had only a single candle, a trench one. And the event was held when there were no electricity, no water, no communication here. And in the zone, well, in the zone it was very difficult. The recently liberated land, densely mined by the enemy, seemed to be asking why. Why this is happening to it again. Right here, on the border of the zone, where is already formally a normal life ongoing, one can feel that the metaphysical zone and Chernobyl extend much further than a territory limited by that barbed wire. Because what we are dealing with is not just a collection of historical facts. That actually is a dynamical phenomenon. So today we light 37 candles, the number of years that have passed since the Chernobyl disaster. And also, like last year, one more. So as not to forget how on February 24, 2022, the unspeakable evil, called the Russian army, came to the territory of the zone. Having spent years studying Chernobyl, we realized that, that it's actually impossible to study it. You can only comprehend it. Not only because its entire history is thousands of events that happen simultaneously, but also because by interacting with it, you interact with eternity from the perspective of the scale of a human life. Interacting in a pretty direct existential sense because those spots of cesium that define the zone will continue to emit radiation in the same places, even there won't be anything left from all of us. A contact with eternity always leads to a rethinking of life and a change in the values. So Chernobyl as a phenomenon teaches us about the praise of life, but teaches kind of in reverse by what was experienced in the war with invisible and now visible enemy.
There are those to whom it only hurts, and there are those to whom the pain simply doesn't exist anymore. Because how you can cope with the word pain your entire life? These are the residents of the city of Pripyat who have their homes in 1986, and some of them again in 2022. These are the residents of Polisia villages who remember the thousand-year history of these places. These are the Chernobyl nuclear power plant workers who took the most difficult shift during the occupation of the power plant. These are the zone staff who are restoring it after it was damaged heavily by the enemy. These are all those who went to the front for the sake of life, and many of them, including those who we knew personally, did not return. In reality, Chernobyl may not be only about radiation, popular movies or entertainment tours that used to take place here in the past. Because Chernobyl, before all, is about how devastated your heart can be. As we light a candle of remembrance, we ask ourselves, what are you worth if nothing is burning in your heart? No wonder that the symbol of the city of Pripyat was Prometheus, who brought fire to people. And likewise, often from the opposite, we all have to become a metaphysical Prometheus. To bring the fire of life and compassion, a fire of meaning. So that new Chernobyls, either big or small, would never happen again. And so that dead cities do not remain behind us.